Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Um, sorry my voice sounds a little weird today. I'm a little under the weather. Um, this month is LS sale month for the entire month of November. That means there's some special deals going on with LS. And that is any head you would like to buy from me that it's as cast or CNC ported, I will sell you that set of heads for $100 more than what my cost is, um, which could save you significantly on certain heads. Also, any LS parts, whether it be pistons, rods, cranks, um, intake manifolds, camshafts, I'll sell you into those parts for $20 more than what it cost me. It's only for the month of November. I'm also offering other deals on my ported heads. A complete set of ported heads, hand ported by me, will be $200 off this month. But anyway, I also want to do a little bit of instructional videos during this month, and that's the point of this one. This is an LS3 head brought in by a customer. He just wanted them cleaned up. It had been running for 80,000 miles on the Camaro and he'd had other issues with the engine and it was actually a lifter that was causing a problem. So he thought he'd just take off the heads and have me fresh them up. But I thought I'd do a little pocket porting just to show you the differences it can make. So when it came off after 80,000 miles, it actually had one cylinder leaking, which was an exhaust. It didn't pass my vacuum chest anyway, but all the rest were fine. But the only thing I've done, and I'll show you, is I did a valve job. I did my radius exhaust valve job on the exhaust. And then just my pretty good performance-wise one from the intake. It's both 45. I didn't blend into the seat, or in, I didn't blend the top angle into the chamber because it really didn't leave as much of a mark. I also wanted to do a minimal amount of work just to show you what gain. All the port work was done was only on the intake side. I did not grind at all on the exhaust. But on the intake side, I, this is what you would call a pocket port job. It's not beautiful because you don't do a whole lot of work to it. You go about an inch or so down until it meets the floor. Smooth up the vein there a little bit. Not too bad. Um, and what I did do is make the bowl bigger. So right now it's 100% of the valve. And the valve is 2.165, so that's what it is. I also adjusted the throat. This throat's 90%, so it's not big at all. It's a standard basic deal. And as you could tell, I worked the short side to go along with it. So that's all that was done. This job doesn't take very long. If you have a carbide burr, you can do this pretty quickly. You use that to grind out the bowl bigger and also to blend in your throat. And then you just use a uh, sanding roll, what I did, just to kind of smooth it up, make it somewhat more presentable. Anyway, you don't have to. You can leave it rough as well. And the only thing that was changed was the, uh, like the valve job on the exhaust. So what did it do? Did it change anything? Well, let's look. Here are the flow numbers. This first column right here, this is stock. And this is afterwards. Ignore this number one. It tried pulling the valve open and I just didn't hold it closed. So that one number is false, but the rest are right on. Um, so this is stock and that's ported. And the only thing I did was what I showed you in the video. So this is the intake side, I should point out right here. So as you can tell, it gained quite a bit. So I mean, all the way at 900 lift, which is where the valve stops, it gains 30, but in some spots it gains more than that. Like for instance, the big one comes right here at 650. I did this one because I think he's running like a 630 cam. So it went 361, but it was 320 to start off with, so it gained 40. That's a pretty good gain. The exhaust side, remember all I did was change the valve job. And there's its numbers. So it did two pick up, except for all the way at peak it did not. Like that one spot it lost about one. But all everywhere else it gained. So pretty, pretty nice jump. Oh, except for at two tenths, it lost some there. But um, yeah. So there's what you have, pretty nice pickup. Uh, if you want this done to your heads, you send me in your heads, it'll be 500 bucks this month, and that will include milling the heads. I just surfaced these, valve job and pocket porting. So I also get some cleaned up. Anyway, I mean cleaned up is these came, had carbon on them and everything, I sandblasted them. You could tell like some of the, uh, see how I were clean, some of the carbon starts coming off leaves a residue because I didn't clean enough in there. But anyway, um, yeah, 500 bucks to get your surfaced heads, valve job, pocket ported this month. Anyway, if you have any questions or if you would like to know more information about how to do this for yourself if you want to, just hit me up. Thanks. Bye.